Hi, I'm Rob with the Rob Jensen Company, and welcome to 2300 Pearlcrest Street, located behind the guard gates of Mountain Trails. At 7,200 square feet on a .64 acre corner lot, this custom two-story estate brings the Italian countryside to Las Vegas. Inspired by the architecture found in the foothills of Florence, this custom estate has hand-laid mortared clay roof tiles, double-framed exterior walls, a climate-controlled wine room capable of holding 1,500 bottles, and masterful landscaping in the front and rear yard. Enjoy the tour. When you come in the gates at Mountain Trails and you drive up the street with tree-lined shaded spaces and detached sidewalks, you come into the house and it's got very, very thick walls, but it's got a lot of open window space that lets in a lot of natural light. You really feel like you're not in Las Vegas. I can imagine myself being in Italy at any given time when I come home after a rough day and I grab a glass of wine and I put some nice music on. We got really lucky, we had a great team. We had a great architect, his name was Frank Stoles, a uh, young up and coming architect, great vision out of Newport Beach. Then we interviewed a couple of um, custom home builders and we picked a guy by the name of Scott Bugby who, uh, who built our house. And Scott is certainly absolutely one of the best custom home builders uh, in Southern Nevada for sure. Bob and Jennifer approached me with a set of plans and um, the structural requirements to pull this house off were much more involved than your normal house. European homes in general, they tend to use brick and they, they stack them several brick wide. Um, so the thick walls here are to emulate the brick walls there. All of the projects I do, I have a full-time superintendent on the job, and that man is not only accomplished in, in knowing how to build, but he only has one job to do, and that's to stay on this job. And I'm proud, I'm, pr I'm proud of what we built, and it shows well now. We've surrounded the house with Italian cypress and olive trees, most of the Mediterranean plant palette that you would see when you're in Italy. Uh, we have a 22-year-old fig vine that has crept literally across the entire back of the house. We've got a pass-through bar that goes outside. We've got a great barbecue area, a great fireplace for a seating area, and uh, a terrific spa. And I have to say that of all of the accessories that we've put into this house, for me, the range has been really important. It's a handmade garland range from Pennsylvania. It's made here in the United States. It's got six gas burners, two oversized ovens, and a grill and a griddle on top. Uh, Michael Mina was coming over to cook for, with us one night, and he was a little nervous that bringing his staff and everybody in that they wouldn't have the right accommodations. And he walked in and just sat everything down and kissed the range. So um, the, the garland range here has been kissed by Michael Mina. <laughs> The roof is very interesting because it's a hand mortared. Each tile has been laid individually with mortar. Again, trying to maintain that artisan, authentic Italian look. So even the, the roof, uh, the, the roof trusses of the house were designed to accommodate that roof and the roof is heavier than a typical roof that you would see on most houses. This house was, was well thought out before we started. And I, that keeps going back to the success of this home as well. You know, they got exactly what they wanted and they took the time to really ask the right questions and bring the right people in. But starting with Frank, with the team at the beginning, it was myself, the architect and the interior designer, uh, David Patzel, uh, the late David Patzel. And um, he designed all of this. I mean, he, he came up with the, the, the iron designs, the cabinetry designs. There was a lot of things that were imported on this job. There was a lot of things on this job that had to be fabbed out several months in advance so it was ready when we got it. There's nothing that I'm not proud of in this house. It was done right, and um, if the, you do things right, they last. Master bath amenities include hers and his Rosa Verona vanities, a jetted tub, and a rainfall shower with dual heads and eight body sprays. 
Plus, a controlled access door leads from the master suite to an upstairs office with built-in desks and an ensuite bathroom. There's nothing like opening the doors right at dusk as the sun's setting and the house starts to glow a certain color. You walk outside and you sit down your glass and you just look at how warm and glowing this integrated stucco is with the gold color and the house looks like it's glowing and I'll never tire of that. I'll miss that. This particular room we've got three sets of large French doors that open up onto the courtyard and you know particularly in spring and fall when the weather's temperate and mild we love to open these doors up and just let the outside in and it's just it's just beautiful. It's, it's glorious. We do like the idea of living in a guard-gated community where I can be home at night at any time of the night and walk the dogs and there's street lights and I feel safe and secure. We do have guards. We have a roving guard that is out at night. It's really just a very safe space to be in. There's an eight or nine foot drop in elevation between our house and the house behind us. So there aren't any windows that are looking into the backyard spaces. You have that privacy there. So being guard gated and having the back gate that's exit only and everybody knowing everybody else makes it an extra secure neighborhood. Residents of Mountain Trails enjoy 24 hour guard gated security and exclusive access to a community park with two tennis courts, a half basketball court, a playground shaded by mature trees, and a covered barbecue pavilion.